everyone, Petal is blessed here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today to share with you how I turn these tumblers into these using the Vivor mug press. Hey you guys, I'm doing a review today of the Vivor mug press and today's video is sponsored by Vivor. They sent me over their mug press or tumbler press to do a review so I'm going to come on and share that with you guys. So let me start off by showing you what the machine comes with. So it comes like this, a big tumbler press and inside we have the cords, the electrical plug cord here. And also here we have the cord for the, um, I guess for the press itself. So we're just going to attach it right here where it goes. You just push it in and then just tighten it. And then on the other side, now we're going to plug in the electrical cord, which you just follow it and just stick it in there. <laughs> there we go. And we have some heat gloves that come with it. You need that because the stuff are very hot and they give us some heating tape. And here are the gloves, which like I was saying, we need that because everything you take out of the press is extremely hot fit nice and comfortable and here's our mug press from the side then you just pull the lever over and it closes it and then these two little knobs at the back here you can adjust the pressure to what size mug you're using okay these are the tumblers that I'll be sublimating today I have these tall ones here with a nice surface and then I have the are they Libby mug Libby mugs I think they're called them with the lid and the glass straws these are super cute and they're frosted and I got all of these from Amazon now the mug press does hold 20 ounces and 30 ounces um, containers so whatever size you're using you just place it in the mug close it and you can adjust the pressure and same with the Libby cups we have to loosen the pressure because they're a little thicker than the 20 ounce tumbler I was using a while ago so you just adjust your machine accordingly and now to set the temperature well first we're gonna turn it on <laughs> and then it says that you um okay to set the temperature you turn the display halfway to the right and then you can set the temperature and then to turn this to set the amount of seconds that you want it to do then you can turn it to the left and adjust the time that you want it how much seconds and it does go between celsius and fahrenheit whichever one you want to use you set it to that so for our first tumblers we're going to do 400 and i'm going to do 50 seconds two times Put it in, turn it, another 50 seconds, and then take it out. Okay, so we have to prep our materials, clean it off with some rubbing alcohol, make sure it's nice and clean. And then we are going to use a lint roller and roll it also to get any lint off of our surface. Now, I don't have a sublimation printer, so I am using Cricut infusible ink sheets. So I'm just wrapping it around and adding some tapes now this is my first time doing a tumbler so we will see if i have any trial and error but you know it's my first time so we'll just take it as it goes <laughs> and so now we're just putting the tumbler <laughs> into our press and start the time and it beeps when it's finished so i took it out and i'm going to turn it 360 and put it again for another 50 seconds and there we go it's all done so we're taking it out and because I use the Cricut infusible ink I didn't have to place any butcher tape if you're using the regular um, sublimation sheets you should wrap your container with the extra sheet of um, butcher paper so it doesn't mess up your 
machine. And now we're just taking everything off. It's very hot, very, very hot. So these gloves are really good. It is extremely hot. Okay, so here we go. I lost one of my pieces up top there, as you can see, it fell off. I didn't know where it fell, but I still used it. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> For my first go, I think I did pretty good. I like how it turned out. And there are some faded spots. Maybe I should have wrapped it a little tighter. I am not sure. But I think for my first try, I think I did pretty good. And now we are going to do our next tumbler. So we place it in there, adjust the, temp the pressure, and then we start the machine. And then we take it out, turn it, <laughs> and start back the second set of pressing. Okay, here we go. It beeps when it's finished. To let you know so we just take it out and again it's extremely hot so I'm just taking off the tape first and then I can pull off the rest of the transfer sheet just take your time and be careful I'm just speeding it up but take your time and be careful so you don't damage your mug or tumbler <laughs> All right, here we go. I like how this one turned out. I think it looks very nice. And I think I did pretty good. Some of it is faded there. I gotta learn how to wrap it better for our seams. Yeah. But for my first time, I think I'm doing good. It's so easy to do. So now we are going to do the, the Libby Bears cups, which is 360 this time. And I'm going to press um, for 120 seconds each. So again, I'm using the infusible ink. So I'm just gonna wrap it around our cup, our Libby mug. And then we are going to tape it down. And like I said, I gotta get this taping thing done properly. I did a big mistake here, but we'll us show you in just a minute with the taping. So now we're going to start to press our mug, which is 360 for 120 seconds. Then I'm going to take it out and turn it around. And I marked it by the tape, the seam of the tape. So it's on top for the first press. Then I put the seam at the bottom for the second press. We're just going to close it back and start again. Okay, so we're going to take it out. And again, it's extremely hot. So these heat gloves do come in handy. Okay, the pattern is nice on the frosted um, glass. It's not as bright because it's a frosted glass, but look what I did here with the tape. Remember I was telling you, oh, I taped it so wrong, but that's okay. I still like how it turned out. And I think I am doing good for my first try. So it's not the machine error, it's my error. So now we're gonna do our next mug, our next Libby glass here. <laughs> Again, put it in, <clears throat> start the timer. I'm just gonna show you how everything looks while it's pressing. It's nice and snug in there. And then when it's finished, open it up. Remember the tape is in the middle, put it at the bottom and then we press again for another 120 seconds. Mm -hmm. 
And there we go. I like how this one turned out. I didn't light up my seam the greatest, but it still looks good. Very nice. All right, everyone, here is our four creations that we did today. I absolutely love them. I love these um, little, what are they, Libby mug glass. They are so cute. I love them with the lid and the straw. <laughs> this is so nice. And here's the other one. I just put some um, Kleenex inside so you could see the design a little better because the frosted looks does make it a little bit more faded. But that's okay. It still looks nice. And our tumblers. <laughs> our tumblers are so nice. I think I did good for my first try. Tell me what you think down below. For my first try, what do you think I did? I think I did great. <laughs> and I love these cups. Like I said, I got them on Amazon. And this opens this way. So you can drink. And it holds hot or cold. And it will keep the temperature for a few hours. <laughs> I love it. And it has a straw inside. Just a plastic straw, these ones come in. And here is the other one. I love how they turned out. <laughs> I think they look nice. I love the Vivor mug press. Or is it tumbler press? I don't remember which one. But it's absolutely nice and fun and easy to use. So I will leave a link below where you guys can go over and check them out <laughs> and they're nice because they make nice items for yourself or as a gift to give to anyone these ones that i made i'm giving them to my little niece because it's her birthday so i made them for her all right everyone that's all your girls got for you today and i hope you will give me a thumbs up for today's first time using a uh, tumbler in the mug press <laughs> And remember, as always, to stay blessed from Petal is Blessed. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>